So we're going to do submarine? Is that what we're going to do? Oh, I'm sorry. It's periscope. Is that what we're going to do? Periscope, not submarine. This is, used to be my guitar, and I brought it home, and my wife said, well, I'll have that. Uh, 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 I love that one. She goes, well, I'll have it. You bring all these beautiful guitars home. Now when I go on the road, I have to borrow my wife's guitar. So this is Paige's guitar. Today, we're going to make a guitar. We're going to get all the parts together, and I'm going to let you guys pick what it's going to be. So here we go. First thing we need is a top. So let's get three tops. We're in the vault. We're gonna get three tops and you guys are gonna pick which one goes on this private stock guitar. So let's grab this one and let's grab this one and let's grab, oh, another one piece top over here. How's that? Oh my God, look at this. Do you have any water there? Let's wet this stuff and take a look at it. So we got top one, we got top two. This is top one. I need water in this thing. This thing's empty. Can you use the water? There you go, there's top one. There's top two. And here's top three. It's a one piece quilted top. So is it gonna be top one? Or top two or top three, everybody. I need to know which one's it going to be. And the answer is this is regular, beautiful, normal, straight. This is at an angle, which is highly unusual. One piece top, and this is quilt. Can I have some more water? Got to show some more water. I've seen a lot of two, twos and threes. A lot of twos and threes. Don't spray me. You get sprayed. Here, uh, so there's three. Is it going to be one, two, or three? What's the answer? What's the answer? I think two. I think two is coming out ahead. All right. It's number two. We're going to use this top. Okay, everybody? You didn't pick the quilt top of yet in mind? All right. We are in the process of building a guitar in our private stock department. And I'm letting you guys pick what's happened. The app crashed a minute ago, but this is the top that everybody picked. One piece, beautiful top. Now we're going to pick a back for the guitar. We have a piece of ribbon striped mahogany. You can see all the beautiful ribbons in the wood, right? And then we've got a piece of more plain mahogany, which would be typical of an old 50s guitar. And then a piece of figured Karina, black limbo. This piece is pretty heavy, so if we make it out of this, I'm going to have to, or this one, I'm going to have to make the guitar hollow body with a single F hole. So which is it going to be? Back one, back two, or back three for this private stock guitar? I'll let you look this time. All right, it's yeah. back one, everybody. It's looking like we got oh, back boy. one. So here is the back for the guitar and the top. We're going to put these away. And now we're going to pick a neck blank. Okay, so I have three neck blanks here. I have a Zero Cody neck blank. Listen to this. It's a Beautiful exotic wood. Um, a curly maple neck blank like they make violins out of. This thing's got some extraordinary figure in it. And then we've got a mahogany neck blank. This one, the curly maple one, they don't ring as well, but this is what they make violins out of. And they tend to sound absolutely beautiful. That's my phone, which I will now turn off. Sorry about that. So, is it going to be the Zero Cody, beautiful ringy heavy stuff, the heavily figured curly maple neck blank, or the mahogany neck blank? One, two, or three, everybody. And the answer is maple, mahogany, curly maple, Zero Cody. It's the mix. Wow, it's a mix no, mostly ones, more ones. It's a, it's a little bit more ones, so we're going zero Cody. Here we go. So you guys have now picked a ribbon stripe back 
and a curly maple one piece angled top and a zero cody neck plank. So let's go for fretboard. Paul Miles has just joined us, the director of private stock. Paul, we're doing a periscope for picking. They, they picked these three so far. What? So let's do four. You got a zero cody fretboard? Yes. Where's, where's that, Paul? Right there. Okay, so. So let's wet these things. We'll do one, two, three, and four. So this is um, Brazilian rosewood. This is African blackwood. That's zero Cody, and that's curly maple. Which of those would you guys like? One, two, three, or four? Say the names of them again. Brazilian rosewood, African blackwood, zero Cody, and curly maple. And the answer is. Two. Yeah. African Blackwood. African Blackwood, everybody. You guys picked the African Blackwood. Now, look, when you write two a hundred times in your post, that doesn't help. You only get a two, right? Just because you wrote two a hundred times, it's only worth one two. All right, so far, so good. Now you need a matching veneer. Huh? Now you need a veneer. Okay, so the veneer lays on the headstock. Um, we're going to pick between... Uh, three or four of those. It's uh, the color of the headstock. This thing right here. Um, normally we match them. Uh, do you have uh, African black with their pump? Okay, one of those. And one zero Cody. And one curly maple. There's a curly maple here. Yeah. And uh, is there anything else that we would do? We've got an ebony one? Ebony's over there. Okay, so here we go. So this would be ebony, it's black, so the headstock would be black, or zero cody, which matches the back of the neck, or curly maple, which would match the top, or uh, this was African blackwood. African blackwood, which matches the fretboard. One, two, three, or four. And we have... Four. Four. Matches the fretboard you guys picked. Smart group, that's that's the deal. Okay, so now we have a fretboard, a neck blank, a back. Um, I want to make it a single F hole guitar so make it a little less weight and a headstock finger. So now we're going to pick between colors on the guitar. And then we're going to go to model and a bunch of other stuff. So here we go. And Paul, this color you call? That's dirty blonde. Okay. And You're not going to wet them. Wetting them's not going to help. Because it helps a little bit. They already got finish on. Ah, well, whatever. And this is this color? That's a new color we've never done before. Well, what's it called? Uh, it's called bullfrog right there. But... I like that. All right. So then we'll call this one, this two. What's this? Again, it's a new color. Never been done. And what's, what color are you going to call that? I have no idea. Now that sounds like uh, fire maple. It looks like it's on fire. Yeah. Okay, so this would be one, this would be two, this would be three, and then this is bullfrog again, or is it no, different? I, I was, it was more for that, that purple yellowish. The one in the middle. Mm -hmm. And what do you call that? Uh, purple yellowish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what color is it going to be? One, two, three, or four in here? Go through one more time. This would be color one. This would be color two, this would be color three, and this would be color four. What color are we going to make the guitar, everybody? Mm. Ooh, four is a little bit extra. It would actually lend lots very of well ones to that color. I don't know. To that it's dead even. Except two's out. Okay, so Bullfrog didn't make it. So, Paul, you pick one, three, or four. I'm, seeing, do, I'm seeing one and four along. Right. I would do four because we've never done it before. Okay, so to say. the purple and, and yellow? Yeah. Okay, so that's the color. All right, you guys, do, you guys they pick four. All right, so that's great. Okay, so 
Grimace Let's go to the next thing. Do you want a 22 fret guitar or 24 fret guitar? You guys, you put two twos or a two and a four? One or the other. 22 frets or 24 frets? Twenty-four. We're done. Okay, so they want a twenty-four fret guitar. So, is it going to be a McCarty thickness guitar like this one, or is it going to be thinner like a custom? So, is it going to be more of a McCarty model where the back is thicker, or is it going to be a thinner back like on a custom? What's this right here? Custom. This is a this is McCarty. Customs are thinner than this. So, does it have a, a slightly thinner back or a slightly thicker back? So, thinner back would be number two and. Yep. Thicker back would be number one. Oh, I see custom McCarty. McCarty across the board. That's almost, that's like 30, 66%. Yeah. So we're going to have a McCarty uh, model guitar. So, next thing. Do we put a tremolo on it or does it have a stop tail piece? Somebody said ruined. That's funny. Wow. It's about 55% stop. Okay, so um, we're going to go with the stop tail piece. In terms of the pickups, are we going to use the pickups on a Paul's guitar or are we going to use the new 5815 covered humbucking? So let's just have two choices. Are you going to use these hum, uh, hum canceling pickups that sound like single coils or are you going to have uh, 5815s, which are our new covered uh, humbuckers, which we're getting universal acceptance wow, on. 5815s. 5815s across the board. It's getting 5815s with McCarty Electronics. So far, so good. So, in terms of 5815s. Gold we, and nickel hardware. Uh, gold and nickel hardware. We'll do that in a minute. In terms of 5815s, everybody, it's a good pickup that was invented in 58 that we recreated in, in 2015. We also make an 8515, which is the same pickup but without a cover. And um, we're getting pretty universal acceptance, not just on the pickups in my guitar, but on these new uh, 5815s and 8515s. So I appreciate that you guys know what you're talking about and you've ordered it. Um, the next thing we want to uh, go over um, is what kind of birds. So are you going to use the brush stroke birds like in my guitar, or are you going to use the birds that are in the normal guitar? Pick one or the other. So this would be regular birds or brush stroke birds. And then you got these also. Yeah, but we'll, once if that be regular birds that we'll pick. So we'll, we'll go back and forth. And 60% brushed. Brush stroke birds. Okay, so the material. Let's look at, huh? Nothing. The material. Let's look at the materials here. You've got abalone and powa and green heart and gold mop and mother of pearl and black lip. There's lots and lots and lots. Let's pick between uh, abalone, gold mother of pearl, or regular mother of pearl. So it would be this one, number one, gold mother of pearl, number two, or mop number three. Now these are going to be in brush stroke birds. So is it one, two, or three? One, yeah, yeah, three. Which is it? Keep going, everybody. Three, yeah. What do you think? Three, yeah. All right, we're gonna go with mother of pearl. So we're gonna go with the mother of pearl in brush stroke. Ah, uh, we're getting there. Hardware color. Okay, so is the hardware gonna be gold hardware? Is it going to be mixed hardware or is it going to be nickel hardware? So just be specific. When we do gold hardware, almost all parts are gold plated. Mixed hardware, some of them are nickel plated, some of them are gold. And nickel hardware, it's either a, a nickel color or a, a aluminum color. So which is going to be? Gold by a nudge. So somebody suggested there, because it was a purple guitar, the gold hardware would match the, the top color really well, so they want gold hardware. Okay, so 
we have a guitar now, and I want to put. I've decided I want to put an F hole in it, so I have an F hole and be semi hollow. Um, so, uh, can we put a bone nut on it? Is that okay? Sure. Put a bone nut on it, and um, we'll put phase threes on it. The phase three tuners. Let me show everybody those. These are our phase three tuners. Um, and we're going to wrap up now. Obviously, this is a private stock guitar. It'll have all nitro on it. And I really appreciate everybody being part of this. I guess in, what, three months, this guitar is going to come off the line and go up for sale? Something like that? So thank you very much for participating. We've never done this before. Welcome to Periscope. I like it. See ya. Bye.